Extreme Trends presents A girl has an intense itch inside of her nose, visits the doctor, and makes a horrifying discovery. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. This woman's name is Daniela Leverani. She's 24 years old and she's from Edinburgh, Scotland. Daniela is no different from the usual young adults. She loves to travel alone to foreign countries and meet other travelers along the way. Daniela is not a stranger when it comes to backpacking trips. She has been doing it for some time now. And of course, whenever a person is traveling abroad to a foreign place, they need to be especially cautious of potential dangers that may happen. If a person encounters something that they have not handled before, they may end up ill or seriously injured. That's exactly what happened to Daniela. Her next adventure was set on the continent of Asia. She wanted to get a glimpse and experience other cultures in the Eastern Hemisphere of the world. Daniela had planned to visit Vietnam first in her list. While in Vietnam, Daniela got into a minor accident on a motorcycle. Luckily, she wasn't badly hurt, but she noticed that shortly after the incident, her nose started to feel itchy. It was beginning to irritate Daniela as the itch on her nose did not stop. A few hours later, she had noticed something quite alarming. Her nose started to bleed. She flew back to Scotland a couple of days later, but the nosebleeds and itchiness continued. While she was in the shower one evening, she felt something sticky on her top lip. Nasal passages normally open up because of the steam and the heat of the water. She thought her nose was bleeding again, and it dripped out quite far, about as far as her top lip. She could kind of see out of the corner of her eye, and it looked like a blood clot. However, the blood clot had strange ridges all over it, which made her think about it. Confused, she glanced in the mirror and gasped in horror. She could not believe what she was looking at. She saw something that looked like a dark blob coming out of her nose. Daniela, quick with her feet, rushed to the hospital's emergency area. She had a nurse check her nose, and what the nurse discovered had put them on the edge of their seats. It was an enormous leech. Daniela was whisked into the treatment room where the nurse and a doctor examined her nose using a torch, forceps, and tweezers. The doctor used the nose forceps to pry open her nostrils really wide while two nurses pinned her to her bed. It was an excruciating process. Whenever the doctor grabbed the leech, Daniela could feel the leech tugging at the inside of her nose. Then, all of a sudden, after half an hour, Daniela's pain stopped and the doctor had the leech in the tweezers. It was horrifying. The leech was about as long as an average forefinger and as fat as a thumb. Interestingly, the leech could move so fast. Daniela did not have a clue how it ended up in her nose, but it got bigger and bigger from feeding on her blood. Surprisingly, the leech had been curled up in a big ball, using Daniela's nostril as the little nest. So she decided to give it the nickname of Mr. Curly. At one point, Daniela said she could feel Mr. Curly up at her eyebrow. The doctors did a great job in extracting the parasite. Hats off to them, because obviously they don't encounter something like that every day. They did what they could in a strange situation while trying to keep their cool. The doctor said it most likely got into her body through contaminated drinking water while she was traveling through Asia. It was the reason that she had been getting frequent nosebleeds. The leech had reached almost three inches long. If doctors had not removed it in time, it would have eventually crawled up into her brain and began feeding on that. Daniela then took the leech home for the night, at the doctor's suggestion. However, Mr. Curly did not live to see another day. He's in an Edinburgh City Council bin, according to Daniela. He's probably long gone by now. I boiled him first, she joked. That was a thrilling ordeal. Thankfully, it ended well for Daniela. Thanks for watching until the end, and see you next time for another Extreme Trends episode.